Good morning, and um, hey, it's good to be here again. Welcome to Judgment Begins in the House. And um, just, wow, so much has happened in the month or so since my last posting. So I'm just going to get right to praying uh, that the Lord would enter into this place. And Father God, we just uh, trust you again today to have your will and to speak uh, through me and to allow me only to speak what thus says the Lord. Thank you for everyone who's watching, Father. And we ask again that your word does not return to you void. And for everyone who this word is intended to reach, we confess that it will be so and that it not only will reach them, but it will take root and it will bloom and it will do what you have sent it to do. We thank you for everything and we praise you and give you all glory, all honor, and all praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Um, so there's so much and I'm just going to encapsulate um, this last month or so, really the last two months because it's been interesting. Um, it was as if the Lord at some point just really made it clear that it was a time for those of us who he ha has sent out anew and sent out in ways that are different than what we've experienced before in the church or in church circles, if you will, that he, at least for me, was calling us into a deeper place of silence and intimacy and allowing him to continue the deep work that he's doing in us and in the entire body of Christ. Um, so I know that many of you have probably experienced the same thing. And I would say, um, just as a word of encouragement, that God is all over it. It doesn't mean uh, that you spoke a wrong word or that he is uh, silencing you um, for correction. Um, but what the Lord has been really demonstrating both in his word and through revelation as we're reading the word um, and just through his still small voice is that this is a time where he is continuing and even accelerating and intensifying the refining so that where he is sending us, we are and have the character to walk in those places and those things. And that's the word that I have today, specifically for those of us who are in the body of Christ or those of us who identify as such and who know through everything that is happening, um, through all of the words of the reliable prophetics, prophetic um, men and women of the body of Christ and even just through common sense, right? We can look and see uh, what's happening and we can, as we read the word, see the hand of God in all of these things. Um, the Lord is saying to us that it's time to ensure that everything that he touches, um, everything that he touches in a way of allowing us to recognize again where we are in our walk and our character with him that we surrender it to him, that we allow him to do these additional works, this additional refining and this additional pruning. And he gave me a really interesting um, analogy. And I'm just gonna share this because many of you might recognize it. We've seen um, some young men and women who are prodigals, we'll call them prodigals, um, but they wear a cross and they'll wear really large, seemingly expensive crosses, be it around their necks or hanging from their left ear, etc. And the Lord has said, for those of us, those of you who are wearing that cross and wrongly proclaiming his name, and rather than demonstrating who he is, wow, in the earth, that cross and your banner of falsehood will soon be removed. And so that's not just for the prodigals. That's for the people who identify again as being in the house, because again, this channel is judgment begins in the house. So if you are confessing something that the Lord knows is not true, and you've done so because it fits with your social circles, or it fits with your job, or it fits with even where you have chosen to donate your time or your money, now is the time to surrender that, to repent from it, and to put that down. 
to no longer lie about who God is based on your wrong motives and to no longer cause people to turn away from him because they're not seeing the fruit of Holy Spirit in and through you um, as evidence of who you say you are. Um, and so I'll leave that now. The Lord is actually saying right now, he's reminding me of having read through Jeremiah 23. I encourage you all to read it. I read it in several translations. Probably the most clear was the message version. Read it because it speaks very clearly to men and women who are identifying themselves as prophets, but who are simply repeating and in some ways just regurgitating what prophetic voices of the Lord have said, who are taking their dreams and visions and speaking God said, but they are not of or from and representing our God. This is the time, family, for us to become keenly aware and discerning in the spirit about all who are around us and even about what is in our hearts and what we're doing and to allow the Holy Spirit, the living God who loves us, to do everything that he knows needs to be done to remove all of the things that the world has placed on us or that we have allowed ourselves to enter into. Um, yeah, so to God be the glory. Stand strong in this battle. Roe versus Wade has fallen and that demon is going to thrash and fight even more aggressively now because he knows his time is coming to an end. Do not be moved. Let people see that Yeshua, Jesus, loves them. And yes, there are consequences for our choices. Now is the time to choose to be loved fully. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen.